For this uh, case study, what we're going to do is talk about a client that we worked with recently that uh, ran into some issues um, when they have uh, mo records that need to be mapped in a different way. Uh, so basically, on the lead conversion, they need the ability to, when converting a lead, map the same field to multiple objects. And they want, needed it to work also with standard fields in Salesforce, which, as you know, uh, in the lead mapping screen in Salesforce, you don't have the option to control those. Um, and they did not want to map to just one field and create a formula field, because doing that, you end up losing the history. So if you have something on the account record, you push down to the contact record or related opportunity record, um, it's going to obviously stay the same as the account, but they wanted to preserve the history at all these different stages. A very unique situation for this client. Um, they also had multiple record types across in both leads and through accounts and contacts and opportunities. And based on certain criteria, they want to be able to set the record types of all the different types. And uh, they did have this working to some capacity with a bunch of workflows, but it was really difficult to manage. Um, so what we uh, decided to do was actually just build a, a custom interface uh, using Visual Force and some Apex. Uh, everything is driven through custom settings, and why don't I just kind of show you how that works. So if you look here, we're looking at the Visual Force page that shows our lead field mapping. So up top, again, all this data is coming from the metadata API, so we don't have to go in if a new record type is created and added in here. It will automatically happen. When a lead converts, we can say for a given record type, what do we want the account record type to be, the opportunity record type to be, and the contact record type to be. Uh, and down here, you have the ability to map uh, a lead field. It shows the API name and the data type. This is going to be filtered to only show back the Boolean ones. But we can map this same field across accounts, opportunities, and contacts. And of course, if there were other custom objects or anything that we wanted to manage, we could do that. So all we have to do is come in and actually select these mappings and go ahead and hit save, and that will change the mapping so it automatically happens. Now, on the other end of things, when you actually have a lead, this convert lead screen, it looks very similar to their screen, but we actually run a bunch of Apex when we do this conversion. So if I go ahead and hit convert lead here, uh, what you're going to see, we're at the convert lead screen. This is actually a custom Visual Force page. It looks almost exactly the same. Um, and when we click Convert here is when we actually run all that Apex code to have all the mappings and push the data around where it needs to be. We also added this nice add follow-up task. I always found it confusing where it's requiring fields down here, and people didn't necessarily like that, so we kind of added that in. Uh, this seemed to work very well for the client. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.